Mr. Diego, you are in. Finally, thanks for being here, dude. Thank you for the invitation, Rich. Thank you for letting me be here in your program. I've been watching in the last months. Thank you so much. Oh, dude, thanks for watching. So you have a lot of stuff going on. It's been a busy last, let's say, couple of years. Introduce yourself and tell us where you're from and how you got the no side. Sure. Este, my name is Diego Cruz. I came from, I come from San Jose. I moved here 10, 11 years ago. I moved here thanks for college. I started making like a little internship just for four months. Then those four months turn to four years, and then the four years turn to ten years. And the um, I'm from San Jose, but I feel more from the town than San Jose now. So yeah, so now it's your life. Like this is your home. Yeah, this is my home. Is it, I think that there is no other place that I feel more happy, that I feel more safe, that I feel more like a home than Nosara. Of course, I'm born and raised in San Jose, but. The way that I've been growing up in here, the way that people are educating me in the last 10 years, it's, um, it's have no price, bro. You and I have surfed a lot together. <laughs> yeah. Come yeah. On, uh, probably a decade or so. <laughs> yeah. You have a very smooth style. You paddle extremely well. In the water, you're kind of intimidating to people because you get, <laughs> like, you're, you're so, you paddle so fast and... If somebody just sees you in the water <laughs> one time and then talks to you on land, you're so nice and you're very friendly and you're very calm and you're yeah. and you're like this. In the water, though, you're kind of scary. I have to apologize right away. I have to take this couple of seconds to apologize <laughs> to a bunch of person, a bunch of people. <laughs> because, yeah, I know that's right. That's true. I call it that and you're going to laugh probably. Is this, is this thing that I call the little guy syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a little guy syndrome. So the the way that I grew up in the city, the way that I that I the the way that I grew up basically is that I have to fight for my things. I have to ah. I have to struggle for my own thing. Now, of course, I've been changing. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, people have been realizing I've been trying to change a lot of that because of the business, of a bunch of things, maturity, a bunch of things. Well, you're getting older too. In the beginning of that is because this town, I feel so much in love in this town that I'm like, I need to support. I need to take care of this place like no, no other place in the world. Then I realized that I was doing a bunch of silly on mature things then in the end i went to my car and i'm like oh my god what i just did i feel such a such a dumb guy you know what i mean so those are the things that i um, make me best a better person so now when you see me in the water yeah, of course there's some situation that gets me mad there are some situations that i feel that i'm being getting respected or my or the town is getting respected so those are the things that flip me and it's something that i'm trying to learn as a person not go from zero to a hundred like this and this me as a person, but I'm trying to let the other person know that it's not because I want to be a grumpy guy. It's because I care about my safety. I care about your safety. Mm. I care about Johnny's safety. It gets crowded out there. Yeah. And it's dangerous it's when dangerous. boards are flying. Yeah, the, that's the thing. Like the other day, this is a good example. Like it's something that that that, that in the water is been happening. I wasn't like that a long time ago. In the water, I've been realizing there are people things that money can fix a bunch of things, mm. and they forget about etiquette in the water. And those are the things that for me gets me really not anger, but makes me sad. You know, because let's say I mean, well, you and I we work a lot for having our, our things, boards, anything. You know, so when somebody hit our boards and we have to fix those boards. It's like a car, you know, it's not going to be the same. The shape is not going to be the same. So people, when you hear from person like, hey, I can pay for those things. I'm going to pay for that. Thank you for paying those things. But it's not about those Man, things. It's, it's about, funny you said that. It's if... about values. It's about etiquette. It's about to have respect. Now I've been trying to talk to people. Hey, listen, I'm going to talk to you in a... Is because of the safety reason. I don't want to talk to you as a grumpy guy. I want to talk to you for this safety reason. And I'm be receiving a lot of things. Hey, thank you for letting me know that. Thank you for letting me know that because the, the old Diego five years ago, <laughs> F word, F word, F word, M word, M word. And now I'm like, no, I don't want to be that guy anymore. And I apologize to those guys that the, I've been super grumpy to them. And it's that thing that right now I'm trying to find that balance. Like mm. being that nice guy, but not the guy that everybody like, hey, I'm going to start with Diego. I'm going to drop on you. You're uh, finding your balance. I think I'm finding my balance thanks to the, to running. I mean, running a lot. So when I go run, I think of my stress. So uh. the, those things are meditations. Those are the things that, thank God, that we have 
plenty of places that we can go surfing around Guiones. So if we know the time, at what time we can go, at what time or what day we can go, we're going to score a really, really good wave. But now in Guiones, what I feel, what I've been feeling is like the... The Pura Vida is kind of misunderstanding in a way that everybody's Pura Vida, it's super Pura Vida, it's super Pura Vida, so the, everybody's dropping on everybody. It's, oh no, you're Pura Vida, you're Pura Vida. So that etiquette is kind of missing. So that's why I'm like getting a little bit grumpier sometime in the water, but but is I, I, I promise you, I, I'm trying to change a little bit. <laughs> little no, by little. I'm trying to Baby tell steps. you. You have changed a lot. That was my point. Thank you, bro. Thank like, cause you, Because you used to be really feisty, and now you're just a little feisty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other guy, I'm going to have a shout-out to Daniel, the jiu-jitsu guy. He's always, he always give me things, like, beep, beep on me. Like, I remember when I came here the first time, you were, you were like a bully on me. I'm like, <laughs> what? Me or you? You can kill me any second. And you're like, yeah, you were like a bully on me. I'm like, bro. I apologize. I didn't realize that I was like that. So now the thanks, also thanks to the restaurant because the, now I'm like have to I have to break that shell of my mm-hmm. comfort zone. Like if I don't ha- if I don't met you before, I'm the I'm not. It's not gonna go to talk to you, but I'm gonna do my things. You know what I'm saying? So now with the restaurant, like hey, how are you? How can I help you? How was your day? Boom boom. How can I make your your experience better? Right. You know what I mean? So now that in the water, when I see they see you in the water, hey Rich, how are you? You're just waiting, waiting for your right hander. I know you're always waiting for your nice right handers. And hey, have a great day. Have a great day. And now I've been learning that if you say that to people, you see the smile. Like, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You too. And those are the thing the, 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 the guiones, to be honest, guiones is, is the responsible or putting those words in my mouth. That's the thing that probably you know about that. The guiones is. It's, it's a unique community in that in that, in those yes. type of way, like saying hi, saying thanks, saying please, and those are the. It's things. the nicest lineup I've ever been to. Yeah, it's very crowded, but it's also very nice. It's a nice. It's for me the nicest crowd because the you have everything in the water. You have entrepreneurs. You have your coworkers. Mm-hmm. You have a bunch of friends of mine. They have their girlfriend, daughters sons uh, and you can listen you can learn from some so many so many persons in the water because the when you're with your kids or with eric is with their kids i'm like i'm being i'm being seen from there like two years old and now they're pushing i'm like they're dropping like double overhead i see your son the other day catching a wave i'm like what and the also your wife because there's the they're seeing to each other how they're like putting the scale up you know what i mean mm-hmm. so the for me i'm like those are the things that i want to have when i grow up like at first a business a, a play that i can have a kid and they can go and, and have fun on right. the beach on the on the soccer field they're gonna go and climb the wall you know and those are the things that me that i came from that i come from the city i value so much that probably people don't understand this but when they come here and they see it and for me when i see it it's like wow it's price it doesn't mm. matter how much money or no money you have if you can if you can have your kids your dogs playing on the sand playing on the beach is that you're relaxed in your house like probably mm. you're relaxed you know that you're having a, in a safe area you're in a safe zone of course there are some things that you have to be careful but in the end it's a community that you want your kids to grow up and for me, there are only like two places in the world that I can remember that I want to have that in my future life, you know? Yeah, it's so, 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 so special indeed. That's one of the reasons that that beer have that name. So tell us about your beer. Jonas Brew Company it starts two years ago. Believe it or not, thanks to an injury that I had on my knee surfing. So I start realizing, thanks to all the years living here, that we're missing things that people uh, are been asking me about on serve lessons and restaurants where i can find a local beer where i can find a local beer i'm a beer lover so i'm like wow there is a big gap a big opportunity here in the market in guiones that people from colorado from the states from europe they're reaching for a local craft beer in mm. san jose the boom of craft beer was starting uh, i had a bad injury on my knee so i decided i'm like it's time to do it it's time to do it so i went to colorado for almost a month, one year, then I returned the next year for almost two months. 
and I learned all the basics, all the basics. So I trained on with a nice brewery over there called Big Choice. And I brought a couple recipes from then. We started making some recipes here. And Tragona starts uh, on October 2017. Hey. And Tragona is came from this town, right? People laugh a lot, most people from Costa Rica, because it's a slant word. So let me explain right away what Tragona means. Uh, Tragona is a personal experience that I have, you know, that I had in my life with this town. This town, the first time that I came here, swallows me. This grabbed me, bite me, and never let me go. So, what year was this? 2008-2009. And that was the La Cueviva in- that internship? That was when I started with La Cueviva. Okay. And since that moment, I don't want to leave this town. I want to leave that. and never happened this before. Mal País... Hermosa, you name the town in Costa Rica. Never had it before. I make the first batch on 2017. I make, I made around, that was like 400 bottles the first time. And the now, so I can make the, the story kind of short. And the now we are in around 20,000 bottles. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 20,000 bottles the other day that I was making. So we are now batching every, every, and we were batching two times a month. And we're mm-hmm. having a hundred percent sales on every batch. Wow. Since 2017. So you're feeling good about things. I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling super grateful. The now I'm about to have our second beer. This is about to come out. It's gonna be a bitter, but it's not a bitter beer. It's gonna be super light beer, super mellow beer to have during the day. Because this one is super strong on alcohol and taste. So people normally with two beers. I got you. So they, you'll they, get a balance. They, going. Yeah, so we're gonna have that balance. So Right on. Yeah, well, hey, congratulations. That's awesome. No. Now, are you doing that on site here oh, in Osara at the restaurant? No. It's going to be super selfish on me doing that because it takes a lot of water. And mm. you know how, how the things work here in town are with the water. Yeah. So I have to be responsible with the water. Uh, I believe a lot in karma. I don't want to be my business responsible of other business doesn't have water. So I decided to make it a little bit far away from Nosara, like an hour away from here or an hour and 30 minutes away from here. So we can have better water. We can have better pH water. It's and better quality, better everything. Way, I, way better. No, that makes sense. It's- hey, that, that completely makes sense. I, I want to bounce over for you to tell us about the restaurant. Sure, sure Because sure. that was an exciting part of your journey. Because it started with the beer, right? And yeah. then when did the restaurant happen? The beer, the start started going pretty well, but I'm one of those guys that never got satisfied with something. So I want to always something new and I hit roof really fast. So when I start getting bored or I want to have a new challenge, I always try to look for something like a new opportunity. Of course, it's like a smart opportunity, let's say like that, that of course the market, the community needs it. After a year of the, of making beer, I'm like, wow, I need to make something new. I need to, this is, I like what I'm doing it, but I need something that I can have more experience with the people, that I can offer my pro, that I can be one-on-one offering beer. So things start going well. So I'm like, why not we flip the money that we're making with the brewery and we're investing in a restaurant? Mm. And so I went to San Jose. I knocked some doors in San Jose. I got a really important partner in San Jose that I have to shout out to Mari and Teto. And I got those partners and I... And then Olivia's was born? Olivia's got born. Olivia's born three years ago, two years ago with Mariela and with Teto. Ah. They were the responsible of starting that. And and the, I remember since first day I met them and I'm like, wow, this is such a great place. And I'm like, wow, this... Giannis needs something like this, and I'm super picky with my food. Super picky. Mm. I'm super healthy with my food. I love beer, but when it's with food, I'm super, super strict. So I went to them, and I am started looking at their recipes, started looking at them. I'm like, wow, the way they make the things are the way that I love to make the things. The way that I make beers is the same etiquette they have to make food. With karma, healthy supporting organic products, supporting local community. So I'm like, I need to have that. Jonas needs that. So I talked to them. So I, why do we don't get together? Brewery and the restaurant. Let me own one piece of the Spectria and I'm going to put in Jonas and I'm going to mix it. A nice place to chill out with my beer and with your recipes. So we start talking, we start talking and they're like, hey, do it. 
This is your responsibility now. This is your baby. And seven months ago, I opened it. And the, I'm not going to lie to you, Rich, since the first day that I brought the containers, because the, I don't know if people know, this is a two containers restaurant mm -hmm. and with a beer place. People, the, I remember since the first day that I put the two containers there in the location, since that day till seven months ago, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up sweating. I'm like, what I'm doing, what I'm doing, what I'm doing, what I'm doing. This is a right decision. This is a right decision. This is a good decision. And so I can make that this long story kind of short. Now I cannot wait today to go back there to chill out with my boys, to chill out with the people that are going to come there. And what I'm been receiving from the people for me, there is no, there's this price list. It's awesome, man. Well, I want to thank you for coming in, buddy. No, thank I you, really Rich, for the it. opportunity. Thank you sort of, to everybody. Thank you for this opportunity. I hope the this thing grow up because this is really, really, really cool what you're doing. Oh, Trust thanks. me or not, I watch every day when I'm like, how the time? Like, I want to see what Fabian is saying. I want to, I want to listen to Daniel. I want to, I, I listen, I listen to the one from Robbie. I love it, that one. I love one from Robbie. That one that you made with Mike. Mm. That one. That Mike's, one. Mike's, the, Mike's story is a good one. He's a really good example. He's one of those guys that, oh, to be honest, bro, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. It's my pleasure. I hope people enjoy hearing your story. And, and I'm, so I'm very you, confident they will. And I have to say this. I know my English is not 100% correct. No, but my, it's incorrect. Su, su inglés es increíble. No, no, es no. mucho mejor de mi español. <laughs> but yeah, I have to apologize with those words that I didn't say correctly. Oh, so. It'll be in tranquilo. Pura vida. And thank you. Mm -hmm.